It is mind-blowing in what speed Elon Musk built companies. Now, the speed and advancement that Elon built the largest supercomputer ever built. It's just unbelievable. Also, the new version of the Tesla latest FSD rolled out with a holiday update and is changing autonomous driving forever. And finally, the NHTSA is acknowledging that Tesla will fix so-called recalls with an over-the-air update. So welcome to my channel where I give you the latest Tesla news. Building a massive factory, liquid-cooled, energized, permitted, in the short time that was done, that is like superhuman. Right. And and as far as as far as I know, there's only one person in the world who could do that. Right. You know, I mean, Elon is singular in this understanding of engineering and and construction and large systems and marshaling resources. It's unbelievable. And of course then his engineering team is extraordinary. And from the moment that we decided to get to go, the planning with our engineering team, our networking team, our infrastructure computing team, the software team, all of the preparation in advance, then the, all of the infrastructure, all of the logistics and the amount of technology and equipment that came in on that day to training, 19 days. 19 days is incredible, mm -hmm. but it's also kind of nice to just take a step back and just, do you know how many days 19 days is? <laughs> it's just a couple of weeks. Yeah. Right. And the mountain of technology, if you were to see it, is unbelievable. Yeah. All of the wiring and the networking and just getting this mountain of technology integrated and all the software, incredible. Right. Yeah, so I think what Elon and the X team did, what they achieved is, is singular. Never right. been done before. Just to put in perspective, 100,000 GPUs, that's you know, easily the fastest supercomputer on the planet as one cluster. A supercomputer that you would build would take normally three years to plan. Right. And then they deliver the equipment and it takes one year to get it all working. Yes. We're talking about 19 days. Now, this was Jensen Huang talking about Elon Musk leading XAI to do the impossible, building the largest AI training supercomputer, which is three times the size of what everyone thought was possible. Also, how quickly this happened. In Jensen's words, no one would be able to do this, of course, except for Elon Musk. XAI just closed its Series C funding round. Six billion dollars have been raised by XAI. Big things are coming. Now, we'll talk a little bit about what this has to do with Tesla. Did you know that XAI also raised six billion dollars earlier this year? Now, the company's valuation is exploding and those contributing to the Series C founding include, according to the official XAI account on X, NVIDIA and AMD. Therefore, it looks like these companies see XAI's potential. This expresses the confidence these kinds of companies have in XAI as well as the expectations of XAI's future developments. Now, XAI's progress is accelerating rapidly. We have closed our Series C funding round of $6 billion with participation from key investors. Strategic investors NVIDIA and AMD also participated and continued to support XAI in rapidly scaling our infrastructure. Nobody thought this was possible to build an AI training supercomputer to scale that XAI was pulled off with existing technology. Now, not sure if you remember, but I was talking about this several months ago in one of my videos. Well, it looks like they keep scaling. Now, all of a sudden, it looks like the demand for AI training chips for building supercomputers is accelerating. Then we have to ask, who gets the priority when it comes to ordering billions of dollars worth of these chips? The company that you know is going to excel in the future. Do you remember when Elon Musk was talking about the potential of the collaboration between XAI and Tesla? I also made a video about this, I think it was last year. Well, these two companies together have the ingredient for artificial general intelligence, but independently they do not. And in case you are asking why companies are speeding up the progress in artificial intelligence, it is because every AI company wants to be the first one in creating AGI. 
AGI is artificial general intelligence that can solve problems in various domains, like a human being without manual intervention. AGI can self-teach and solve problems it was never trained for. AGI is a theoretically representation of a complete artificial intelligence that solves complex tasks with generalized human cognitive abilities. Anyway, Tesla has the real-world AI, the real-world intelligence via FSD, and now has been transplanted into humanoid robots. Therefore, Tesla has an infinite stream of real-world data, which is one of the necessary ingredients for artificial general intelligence. One thing Tesla does not have is a language model, but XAI does, with data streaming from X. Well, you need language, you need the cognition, you need to be able to think, to reason, and to be able to calculate and communicate. But the most important ingredient is language and everything that comes with it. XAI now has the world's largest AI training supercomputer and they're going to double that. Imagine. Now, just a short input from what was posted. It's not long. Now, since the announcement of the Series B funding back in May, XAI made significant progress and shipped a multitude of key initiatives, including Colossus. XAI has established a decisive hardware advantage with the world's largest supercomputer using NVIDIA full-stack reference design with 100,000 Hopper GPUs compared to multi-year industry frames. Colossus was fully operational in 122 days and started running workloads in just 19 days after the first server were delivered. Soon X will double the size of Colossus to combined total of 200,000 NVIDIA Hopper GPUs. Croc 2, our frontier language model, state-of-the-art reasoning capabilities. The XAI API, given developers programmatic access to our foundation models, Aurora XAI's proprietary auto regressive image generation model for Croc Enhancer Mode. Croc on X leveraging the X platform to understand what is happening in the real world in real time. There was also talk about Croc 3, XAI's most powerful model yet, and it's currently in training. The power of Croc, Colossus, and X will transform the way we live, work, and play. Also, that the funds will be used to further accelerate infrastructure. Now listen to this. Chip groundbreaking products will be used by billions of people and accelerate the research and development of future technologies and enabling the company's mission to understand the true nature of the universe. XAI is primarily focused on the development of advanced AI systems that are truthful, that make them unique among AI systems, competent and maximally beneficial for all humanity. In less than two years of XAI's existence, building the world's largest supercomputer for AI training and raising capitals. Look, me and you have talked for years, right? I mean, I'm just not one that sits there and based on sort of a, a, a blip, a macro geopolitical Fed moment, uh, you know, throw the towel in. And I think we're in the midst of a fourth industrial revolution. And as that plays out, it's still only 10 p.m. It was 9 p.m. earlier this year. It's 10 p.m. in the AI party. AI party goes to 4 a.m. Haters will hate. Get the popcorn out. I think we're only year three of a, what I was, it's going to be a five, six year bull cycle. And when they talk about the AI revolution and how it goes into so many, it's not just semiconductors. Well, that's the key. I mean, it's a it, for every for every dollar spent on an Nvidia chip, there's an eight to ten dollar multiplier across the rest of tech, software, cybersecurity, infrastructure. That's the key. That's why this is only just getting started for two trillion of AI capex. Tesla, um, and you project Tesla to be a huge winner. I mean, it's it's the bet for the ages when you look at Musk's bet on Trump, because when it comes to autonomous, I think autonomous is worth a trillion dollars alone. And for all those Karate Kid fans, it's a sweep the leg moment. What's happened in the Beltway when it comes to regulatory? And that's a huge part. The biggest beneficiary from all of this is going to be Musk and Tesla. And that's why 
we've seen a lot of bears go deep into their caves in hibernation mode over the last month. Now listen to this. Tesla started rolling out the latest version of FSD Supervised. I see people say it acts more like a human being than a computer. That's interesting. Now this is what happened. Users reported the Tesla software update version 2024.45.25.5 had started rolling out and it's expected to make its way to those with FSD Supervised first before rolling out more widely throughout the week. The update also included FSD supervised V13.2.2 for those with Tesla's A14 computers, while those with A13 HW3 are expected to receive a much updated FSD supervised V12.6 before the end of the year, according to a statement last week. You can see a couple of early experiences with Tesla's FSD V12.2.2, like whole Mars catalog on X and YouTube. And guess what? The NHTSA finally acknowledged that Tesla will fix recalls with an over-the-air software update. The National Highway Safety Administration NHTSA, is finally acknowledging that some recalls will be fixed with over-the-air software updates and not physically by visiting a service center. This morning, Tesla had to initiate a recall of 694,304 vehicles across most of its lineup to help fix an issue with a non-illuminating tire pressure monitor system TPMS. It will be fixed with an over-the-air update. Similarly, when my platform that I'm cutting these videos on updates sometimes, and it's all over the place, the company usually fixes it within a short period of time. Just saying, it's the same thing. It's nothing big. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like to see more updates on Tesla and Elon Musk, you could click here next. My name is Claudia and goodbye.